In this figure, we have four intersecting lines and three angles that measure 70 degrees, 150 degrees, and 100 degrees. We need to find the measures of the rest of the formed angles. For this, let's review a few definitions, and the first one will be the definition of vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles opposite each other that are formed by two intersecting lines. For example, the angle of 70 degrees and this one are vertical angles because they are opposite of each other. Vertical angles are always equal to each other. So, if this angle measures 70 degrees, then this one is also 70 degrees. Also, if this angle is 150 degrees, then this one is also 150 degrees because they are vertical angles. And if this angle is 100, then this one is also 100. Now, let's review the definition of supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are angles whose sum equals 180 degrees. The angle of 70 degrees and this angle are supplementary angles because together they form a straight angle which measures 180 degrees. So, if this angle is 70 degrees, then this one will be 110 degrees. These two angles, if we add them together, we will get 180 degrees. Now, if this angle is 110 degrees, then this one is also 110 degrees because they are vertical angles. Next, the angle of 150 degrees and this angle are supplementary angles, so this angle will measure 30 degrees. Then, this one will also measure 30 degrees. Then, down here, if this one is 100 degrees, then this one will be 80 degrees and this one will also be 80 degrees. Now, let's talk about angles in a triangle. In a triangle, the sum of all three angles equals 180 degrees. In this triangle, two of the angles measure 70 degrees and 30 degrees. Then this angle has to measure 80 degrees. And again, this is because in any triangle, the sum of all three angles has to be equal to 180 degrees. And now, if this angle is 80 degrees, then this one is also 80 degrees because they are vertical angles. And if this angle is 80 degrees, then this one will be 100 degrees because they are supplementary angles. Then the angle opposite of this one will also be 100 degrees. Now, let's take a look at this triangle. If one angle is 80 degrees and the second one is also 80 degrees, then this one has to be 20 degrees. So, the sum of these three angles has to be 180 degrees. Then this angle is also 20 degrees. And if this angle is 20 degrees, then this one has to be 160 because they are supplementary angles. Then this angle is also 160 degrees. And now we have four more angles to find. So let's start with this angle. There are different ways of finding this angle and one way is to use this big triangle. If in this triangle one angle measures 110 degrees, and the other angle 20 degrees, then this angle must measure 50 degrees. So, 110 plus 20 is 130, plus 50, 180. Then this angle also measures 50 degrees. And if this angle is 50 degrees, then this one must measure 130 degrees. And now, the last angle is also 130 degrees. So, we found all the missing angles and now the problem is completed. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and thank you for watching.